This is quite simply a lime vetiver bomb. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh. Just want to do a re-review today on this Guerlain's Ohm Low Boise. I had purchased this fragrance a few years ago at the suggestion of Simply Put Sense. He had so many good things to say about it. I hadn't really owned the Guerlain fragrance up to that time. I bought it. I remember liking it. I think I gave it pretty decent marks, but for some reason, as soon as I completed my review, I just put the fragrance down. It kind of got lost in the shuffle and it's just been cranking up the heat where I live. So I've been like running through a lot of my summer fragrances, fine tuning what my absolute favorites are, especially since I have a couple of these niche oils and stuff. So I decided to retry this Ohm Low Boise and have a more pinned down review of it. And to be honest, guys, there's not too much to say about this because this is quite simply a lime vetiver bomb. If you just analyze that statement, that's exactly what it is. It's got all the pros and all the cons are gonna be coming from it's a lime vetiver bomb. Because the notes are vetiver, lime, woodsy notes, grass, mint, geranium, rum, and musk. Now again, to me, this is essentially lime and vetiver. The woodsy notes is kind of like a general style notes. Grass is kind of smells a little bit like vetiver. It just is vetiver and lime, guys. That's a straight pretty much what it is. If you like vetiver, if you like lime, this can be perfect. To me, I don't mind vetiver, but vetiver by itself, I kind of need something else with it. And I really, really, really like lime. And on top of this, I called this a bomb for a reason because it has very good projection for being a fresh style fragrance. Go over the pros and the cons. To be honest, there's not going to be that much because it's a lime vetiver bomb but the pros are i really really like the lime and i really really like the projection this had really big noticeable projection every time that i wore it you didn't need that many sprays really just jumped off the skin to me i really really enjoy fragrances that have lime in it i don't I haven't tried too many fragrances that utilize lime very much and i just enjoy that style note the cons is that it's a little too simple for me and it may be because i'm not the biggest fan of vetiver but i just found it to be a little too simple it does not smell like extra smooth or extra niche to me it smells like a designer but it smells not raspy or rough at all for having that big projection so i really really like that and then it really comes down to if you like vetiver and lime if you're like me i like lime i'm not really the biggest fan of vetiver i could do some vetiver you know mixed in maybe like with 10 notes or something but when it's the main note this is definitely a solid fragrance and really what puts this fragrance into the next level is that projection which is hard to really knock this fragrance off and really want to get rid of it because it does have that lime it does have that projection and i don't really own anything that smells smells like this and projects like this personally, even though I really kind of wish it would do a little bit more extra things in there. My smell rating, I had to give this between a 7.5 to an eight. I was gonna give this a solid eight, but I think 7.5 to an eight is solid for me. Likeability, 7.5 to an eight. Again, I think this is a very likable fragrance, but it's not the most new age or the most complex. It's very simple and kind of utilizes a little bit of classic notes in there. So I'm gonna go 7.5 to an eight, makes me feel good for likability and longevity and projection. I'm gonna give Give this a solid eight freshies maybe an 8.5 because it's unusually high projector for it but i would give it a solid eight this is a very solid fragrance across the board guys i really can't say anything bad about it but i do want to say it's not really in my tip tip top summer fragrances like when i want to throw something on to feel special to really garner attention this is a solid one that I wouldn't mind spraying, but it's not one of my go-tos. My absolute favorites are Sauvage, which I've been respraying, and I'm not as crazy about Sauvage as I was before, but I still would rather wear Sauvage than this. I still think it's a tad more sexy than this, personally. And then Aventus or Aventus style clones. Um, Virginal and Water clones, too. I have about two or three. Virginal and Water clones are just fantastic. The one by Babylon Fragrances is an Elysium clone, which kind of smells like Sauvage and Aventus. I absolutely love that one for summer. And then also in Invictus Aqua 2016, I guess you could throw in one of the newer Invictus Aquas or cut that one out if you want. But I have about four or five that I absolutely love top tier. It makes me feel like I'm going to get um, compliments and stuff. And those are those fragrances right there. But anyways, guys, Ohm Lo Boise. Let me know what you think of this fragrance. Let me know what you think of this video. Should I try any other ones by Guerlain? Because this is the only one I've ever tried. I was really impressed by the projection on this one. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I have a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Yo, peace. The mint, you know, it just, it really just...